Hello friends, multiplication can be very very easy. Of course, you need to know some of the very very important and very interesting short tricks. In this video, I shall tell you 10 different multiplication shortcuts. See, I have written 10 questions here and all these are multiplication problems. All problems can be solved orally. And yes, every calculation involves a different trick. So, if we are aware of those kind of tricks, only then these tricks are going to help us in developing an amazing speed of calculation. So, let's see these questions. So, I'll go uh, for the question which I have written here, 10th, first, 67 into 63. So, how do we do this? Now, see the gap between these two. The gap between these two is very less. So, the gap is only 4. So, just take the number which is just in between them. So, 63 and 67, the exact central number is 65. So, you just need to know the square of 65 and then uh, this problem will be a very, very easy problem for you. And what's the next step? Just subtract the half of the difference that is 4 the difference is 4 so half of that is 2 so 2 square that is 4 is to be subtracted from this number now if you know the trick of squaring numbers ending with 5 orally then this is going to be very easy 6 into 7 is 42 and that will be followed by 25 so your answer for the question will be 4 2 2 1 now you can pick up the calculators and verify whether the answer you have obtained is 4 2 2 1 or not I am sure you are going to get the same answer. Now that's the first trick. Now the second one, how you multiply numbers which are between uh, 10 and 20. Now these are the two numbers. Here we have written 17 and 19. So what do we do here is to just multiply the unit digits. Now 7 into 9, obviously you all know that 7 into 9 is 63. So write 63 here and then separate it using a slash and now this number 17 is to be added to the unit place that is 9. So 17 plus 9 is 26 or you can do it like this also 19 to be added to 7. So 26. So you have two numbers here 26 and 63. So from here retain the unit digit this and 10 digit is to be carried forward. So 26 plus 6 becomes 32 thereby giving you the product. 323. So, yet another very, very important short trick and very easy to monitor and master. Okay, next one 103 into 108. So, how do you do this? See, we write 103 and 108 one below the other, and then I just see how much 103 is above. 100 that means 100 minus 103 is minus 3 and 100 minus 108 is minus 8. Now take the product of these uh, excess quantities so minus 3 and minus 8 the product will be 24 and then you have to subtract numbers like this so 103 minus minus 8 this will give you 111 or you can do it like this also 108 minus minus 3 this will give you 111. So, your answer for the question triple 1, 2, 4. So, that's the answer of 103 into 108. Now, let's see the fourth one. So, let's see the next one. Now, we have to multiply this number 63 by 6. How do you multiply by 6? You should consider this 6 as 2 and 3. 2 into 3 is 6 obviously. So, into 2 means double and into 3 means triple. So, all you need to do is to double this number 63, 63, so 126 and then multiply it by 3 that means triple this. So, the triple of 100 is 300, triple of 26 is 78, so 378 is the product of 63 and 8, that is the fourth trick and now come to the fifth one. 6, 7, 2, 1, 5 into 11. How do you multiply a number by 11? Again, a very, very simple method. Start from the unit place, 5. So, we write 5 here and then separate by slashes. 5 plus 1, 6. 1 plus 2, 3. See, I am making pairs. 
2 plus 7, 9, then 6 plus 7, 13, and then we have the final 6. And now all the unit digits, the single number digits will be retained 5, 6, 3, 9, 3, and this number 1 will be carried forward. So 6 becomes 7. That's the answer for 6, 7, 2, 1, 5 multiplied by 11. So these are the 5 tricks. And then coming to the next 5, we have multiplication by triple 9. See, we have a 3 digit number here and we need to multiply this number by triple 9. So whenever the number of digits here and number of 9s are equal, problem is very easy. Vedic math comes to your rescue. Just reduce this number by 1. So I will write one step to illustrate this. 646 minus 1, that is the first part. And remaining part, all the digits to be subtracted from 9, but the last digit to be subtracted from 10. So 9 minus 6 is 3 and 9 minus 4 is 5 and then 10 minus 6 is 4. So what's the answer for the question? It is 645, 354. You can check using the calculator. Pick up the calculator and try everything. I think you're going to take more time than these kind of methods. So let's see the next one, 764 into 1.5. Uh, okay. What do you mean by 1.5? 1.5 means we are taking the full quantity and then half of that quantity. 1 plus half. So 1 means 764 itself and half means half of that. So the half of 764, if you can find that orally, then this question can be done very, very easily in within uh, 2 seconds or 3 seconds time. So 764, the half of that is 3. So 8 and 2 and now just add from the unit places this is 6, 8 plus 6 is 14, 4, 1 carry and then 11. So 11, 46 is the product of 764 and 1.5. Very easy, right? All 7 which I have done till now, no written calculations, nothing, only pure tricks, right? Let's see, 467 and 312, now big numbers and whenever big numbers are there, the famous method of vertically and crosswise that comes to your rescue very very easy very compact method and very useful for developing an amazing speed of multiplication when it comes to large numbers see the number of digits again are equal even if they are unequal vertically and crosswise can be uh, made use of by equating the number of digits just prefix zeros required number of zeros to equalize the number of digits and then carry on with the method so i'll just write 4, 6, 7, and 3, 1, 2, 1 below the other and write the answer here directly. So 7, 2 is a 14, 4. Now we have a 1 carry. So this is 12 and 7, 19 plus 1, 20, 0. Then we have a 2 carry. So now 21, 29, and 6, 35 plus 2, 37, 7. We have a 3 carry. And then leave one a pair from the right hand side. So 18 plus 4 is 22 and 3. Uh, 25 so 5 and again 2 carry just uh, leave one more pair so 4 3 is a 12 plus 2 14 so again check using calculators 467 into 312 is indeed going to give you 145704 as the answer of this question now let's see the ninth one this is uh, 33 right so whenever we have a doublet how do we solve this one we need to just uh, separate it into factors like 3 into 11 in this case 3 into 11 is 33 now what is multiplication by 3 if you know what uh, i told you here multiplication by 3 is just tripling so just take the triple of this and then multiply by 11 so i'll convert this problem into tripling and multiplication by 11 so triple this 3 3 is a 9 3 4 is a 12 to 1 carry so 3 1 is a 3 plus 1 4 and 3 2 is a 6 so i've tripled it up and now i need to just multiply this by 11 and use the same trick which I have used here in the 6th question. Very very easy, very compact method up your sleeves now. So let's multiply by 11. Start from the unit place. We have a 9. Okay, I think it's visible uh, here. So we are going to write it here. Okay. So we have a 9. Then uh, 9 plus 2 is 11. 1. Then 1 carry. 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 1 is 7. And then 4 plus 6 is 10, 0, 1 carry. And we have a 6 means it becomes 7. So 70719 is the 
product of 2, 1, 4, 3 and 33. You can just check again using the calculator. Now let's see the final one, multiplication by 12. Now how do you do this one? Now let's start from the unit digit. So here we have 3. So uh, we need to double. You know we have a 2 here. So we need to double 3 into 2. This is the uh, last part of the answer. And then I'll separate the other parts using slashes because that's what we need to do. Okay, now 5 into 2 is 10. And then we need to add the next uh, digit that is 3 to it. And then proceed to 2. 2 into 2 is 4. And then add the next digit 5 to this. Then we have 6, 6 into 2 is 12 and add the next digit 2 to it. So till here it is very easy but all we need to do now remember that when we reach the last digit and perform this calculation the first digit is to be retained as it is and now we will have the answer in the next step. So 3 to the 6 is the unit digit. Here we have a 13. So 13 means 3 and one goes to the next digit. So that makes it, uh, one goes to the next digit means that, that makes it 9 plus 1, 10, 0, 1 carry. So we have a 14 plus 1, 15, 5, 1 carry and then a 7. So 75036 is the product of 6, 2, 5, 3 and 12. Friends, if you want to master all these uh, tricks, you know, you need to take 20, 30 questions of each type and uh, spend time on this. Because it's not easy to remember all the tricks, right? If you want a PDF of all the multiplication shortcuts, you know, about 30, 35 of them, you may just uh, send me a message on WhatsApp uh, number. I'll just give you the WhatsApp number 9896369963. This will be useful for you for life and for all competitive exams, quantitative aptitude portion and even the junior students, you know, they need to acquire that PDF for that, uh, for that uh, amazing speed of calculation. So very well done friends. I think you all have been superb on the channel and you have been watching all the videos, mastering and I get hundreds of messages, you know, that we have qualified such and such exam after watching the channel that gives me a sense of satisfaction. Thanks for watching this video and do uh, subscribe the channel if you like all these videos. Thanks for watching.